Welcome back to another vlog. Today we are going camping. Round two with the family. Hopefully this time it actually works properly. <sighs> Wish us luck. I'm absolutely pumped. I can't wait to get out of there. Okay, we're on the road. Um, it's about a sort of an hour and a half preparation to get over like the last minute things. So when I say an hour and a half, that's not an hour and a half to pack. That's an hour and a half to get in the car. It took, we spent six hours packing yesterday. <laughs> And this is what we would consider to be like a well-oiled machine. The camp is largely packed, the car is largely packed. Like we're not really packing any camping gear, it's just, it's all the baby stuff and whatever. And also planning to be off-grid for a few days um, just takes a little bit longer. Anyway, um, now we were planning to head straight down to Denmark and that was a great idea. And then our friends, well actually we peer pressured at one of our friends, he's been He's been uh, thinking about buying a new car. He drives a 1999 GU Patrol with a 2.8 diesel. Uh, it's not exactly fast. And he is towing a Camplify camper down to meet us. Um, he's, they've been trying to sort of work out whether to buy a camper trailer or not. Anyway, they've hired one from Camplify, which is a really good idea. Um, and they, <laughs> we, they've been looking at a new car. And we just said, well, why don't you just go buy one? Why don't you just do it? And he went, uh, uh, well, uh, Okay, so they're going to have a look at a 2019 Fortuna right now, and he said, I'm not going to buy it till you've seen it, so we're going to go and meet them, have a quick test drive. I reckon they'll probably buy it. I mean, the thing's under warranty, it's bog standard. In fact, he's going to have to install a tow bar before he even leaves. All right, there it is. All right, so the uh, car wasn't a winner. Uh, took, I looked at it for about one second and realized that um, it was a it was an ex, ex rental or ex minor or something. It had a lot of red dirt in it. So that's all right. That's, that's what you do. You quickly figure these things out and work out. Where, well, I didn't even test drive it. Looked at it, red dirt everywhere, forget it. Next car. So it looks like they'll be driving down in their GU, which is a great car. Um, and um, yeah. It'll actually be good because at least they've got dual batteries and solar and all that kind of stuff built into that car and they've got all their gear in it, so make life easier. Mm. We stop and go Bill a quick feed. So, um... He's wearing my... his broom onesie. <laughs> yes. Little broom boy. That's where you were conceived. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Adroni. Right. Let's get this thing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours later. It's a bit cold, actually. Is he? Yeah. Okay, good to know. Alright, so we, th we were really hoping we'd make it to the farm um, on that, after that last feed, but we didn't quite. That's okay. Um, we've made it to, we made it half an hour away. So, uh, we'll let Fred out for a quick run, give Bill a quick feed, and then we'll be there. Drop. Roll over. Good boy. How do we go? So, I've got this one of these things, I'm not sponsored or anything, Sam bought me this for Christmas. It is a Garmin Overlander. What, this is basically our stats for the trip. I'm just going to cover this up so, I don't, so you don't have the GPS location of the place. Mm. But it um, gives you all the stats for what we did, so how, how far away we went, you know, total time, all that kind of stuff. Um, some people cover up the maximum speed to not be incriminated, but I overtake at uh, safe speed, I think. Um, 
and um, yeah, I, I love it. It's kind of like the nerdy part of me just loves this these sorts of stats, and it actually gives you like you know that shows you how long we stop to feed Bill and all that all that kind of stuff. Um, no, very cool, very cool bit of kit. Um, very impressed, and I really like this magnetic mount. Very good. All right, pulled in. So the usual. Um, we always come in empty and we like to fill up with the beautiful rainwater. Fred, what are you doing? Go there. Oh, I'll show, I've got to show you guys something actually. This is the new, I don't know if these have even been released. This is the, the latest 79 series. Um, it's, uh, I, mean, I, I drove it the other day. It's incredible, honestly incredible. So much more comfortable than the old ones. Um, quieter, faster. It's just awesome. Yeah. So if you're in the market for a um, for a real luxury 70 series, that's um, it's just beautiful. So one of the great things about um, coming to the farm mm. is we can go set up camp yeah. and we leave Bill with the grandies. Babysitters. <laughs> Inbuilt babysitters. It's, it's so, so good. good. <laughs> <laughs> Get all these free hands. Yeah. And they're so good with him and he loves them. So it's, it's yeah. great. So I'm going to take the 79 um, series down and you're going to drive the Prada. The 79 series. Yeah. 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 So that's the new one. It's the 75th anniversary. <laughs> it's the la that's the top of the range. Yeah. It's the 79 series. Sahara. I like the interior. Yeah. It's a way quieter, way faster, mm. much better performance. Good sound insulation. Yeah. 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 And sound yeah. deadening. Yeah. Tons more power. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. Cool. So you're going to drive that. Yeah. I'm going to drive that. See you soon. See you too. All right, we're at camp. So, apparently, now that, yeah, actually that gives you a bit of an idea of how steep it is. It's, it gets a lot steeper down there. So, this is our spot. And, well, we'll just crack on and set up. The rain's hit, we're just gonna chuck the awning <laughs> up. Bloody hell. <laughs> January! <laughs> Denmark. This is why you don't fly it. Bloody hell! This rain! Okay, I'm just gonna pop the camper up and get some shelter. Sorry about the dirty lens and oh my god, my camera is soaked. But, um, whoa. It's freezing. Hey, Fred. Our friend's filthy already. <laughs> All right. Well, oh. we're um drenched. We're drenched. Yeah. But it's nice and warm and dry in here. It's actually lovely in here. It's really good. <laughs> I might just sit here for a few minutes. Yeah. And, uh, Defrost. Got a beer. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Freezing. How are you going? I'm so cold. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's cold and miserable. Sam can't relax because we're not with the baby and not that she's a helicopter mother, but it's more that just. She's like, I don't know how long I'm going to be, like, we haven't given them all the stuff, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, we're just going to shoot back up to the house, wait till this rain and it's quite a lot of wind passes. If we were at camp normally, we would just sit inside and wait. But with the baby and we'd be very comfortable. But let's just go back up, have a beer at the house and set this up a bit later. See you then. There's a bit of a random, like, massive rainstorm and wind and everything. Um, but it's all gone away now. And while we're up at the house, everything was actually ready for dinner. So even though it's only quarter past five, we just had dinner. So we're all good for food. So all we've got left to do is, I uh, left Bill and Sam up at the house, and I'm just gonna finish setting up the um, camper, and then light a fire and 
have a nice evening. To get some firewood, Fred. I tell you what, blue hour. It's just lovely, it? stunning here. Have a look at this. I reckon this kind of light could make ugly old bottles look good. because I am. <laughs> so I got the big dog out. Uh, Zippo Firefast Torch. These things are wicked. Bit of fat wood. Straight on there. You can just use fire lighters or whatever you want really. But it's what I've got in the car. Not married to any particular fire lighting technique. As long as it lights. That's for you. That's for I assume that's what you're drinking. Yeah. You're very um, predictable. I'm gonna have some wine, because cool. I can. Right. One sec. I'm gonna have an explorer. Explorer wine glass. Oh yeah. Bit fancy. Goodness. Thank you, sir. Oh. Glass. How's that? <laughs> and they're actual like Riddell glasses. So. They're actually lovely glasses. This is why I said they're fancy. Super you can pretend at least. I can pretend that I'm fancy. We all know it's a lie. But I can pretend. Oh, that's cold. Goodness. Um, do you want a stubby holder? Yes, please. Uh, where have you put it? Freezer. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. Spilling my beer. I am just doing like so one well. beer as well, you're not <laughs> I've had two. You're just uncoordinated. I've had two beers <laughs> in four hours. Not drunk, just uncoordinated. <laughs> two beers in four hours. I've just dropped my drone battery, <laughs> spilt beer all over myself. Yeah, what's I'm next? Doing very well. Yeah. By the way, this is a sort of nerdy side note. New DJI charges for the Mavic 3. Number one, the batteries lock in. Thank you. Thank you, finally. Number two, they're USB C chargeable. Thank you, DJI. Thank you for listening. All right. Cheers. 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 Mm. Let's relax by the Sit fire. Back. Mm -hmm. Hey, Fred. Can come up? Always a hard sell. <laughs> oh, I'm poor prints on this couch, Fred. Brand new Fred. couch. Oh, well. Mm. It's always going to happen. Hey, but all your... Oh. Cheers, heaven. Cheers. Oh. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. I think we're going to do this for a few more hours. 
we'll see in the morning. I think so. We'll let you know if anything happens, but yeah. hopefully it's a very uneventful night. Yeah, uneventful's good. Uneventful's great. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's so good to be back by a fire. Oh man, and I just love to, a fire. And to want to be back by a fire. I love a fire. <laughs> but like, we can have a fire in our backyard. Yeah. I don't want to be dicks to it. No, because it's a million degrees it's a million in degrees. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas it's what, 12 degrees here tonight? Yeah. Nice and cool, not <sighs> cold. Mm. Morning. Um, slept pretty well. Uh, it's very windy, but the camp is actually quiet in the wind, which is good. You just hear it through the trees and um, everything. So it's just like general wind noise. Um, Billy Boy has decided that it is time to get up at whatever it is, five o'clock. Um, and it is time to start the day. How are you, Billy Boy? How are you, Billy? Hey, is that what we're doing? Yep. So, I might take Billy, get a coffee, let Sam have some extra sleep. Hey, what do you think? Well said, Bill. so you can have some milk this morning. Now I've got this really nice kettle that is, I feel criminal doing this. It needs to be really clean for when I give it to Bill. So I've got this beautiful Osprey kettle that I was gonna put on the gas burner, but I can't do it. I just can't bring myself to do it. I'm gonna use one of these set aside folding kettles. The thing is, I can't have like soot and stuff getting in his water, so I have to use gas. It's the only way to do this. Oh, coffee time. I'll go get more. It's freezing. Huh? I don't have the heart to put on a gas burner. Sam's getting some sleep. Sit back, enjoy my coffee. Let Sam get maybe two hours. And then we'll start the day. Reminiscent of last time. I know, it was PTSD. I wonder if it's the um, beanie. Hey, Baba. He's just a little bit cold. Maybe. Yeah. And he doesn't like the wind. Hello. Oh, that's a nice noise. That's a nice and noise. Is it? But he doesn't like the beanie. Maybe. I hope that's all it is. Anyway, <laughs> he'll be fine. Now I want to do some landscaping here because these rocks are kind of in the way. When we've got the awning out, that's the best spot to sit. This is on a slope. So, I'm going to do some, some um, fire pit landscaping today. That's what's great about being on a farm. You can make your campsite how you want it. So I'm gonna go get the tractor and be back in a sec. Thank you. 
Harry's having a shower. How's the water, Harry? Nothing better than an alfresco warm shower. It's actually heaven. We're actually going to go out for lunch today, but we're going to go out with Sam's parents and some of their friends. Um, so look, today's going to be a pretty, it's not an adventurous day. Um, Bill's having a little nap. If something interesting happens, we'll obviously take you along for the ride, but I don't think today's going to be... Mm. I think much. it's just nice to relax. It's just take nice. it easy. Yeah. yeah. Bill got a bit cold. Yeah. We've been trying to rug him up and stuff, but he seems fine now. He's fine now, I think. I think it's been quite breezy, this sort of very bitey, frosty wind. Yeah. I don't think he enjoys that, so we'll see if we can try other ways to keep him nice and warm. Yep. Um, but he's, not, he's happy in the camper, just outside the camper where the wind comes in, he gets a bit mm. And that's part of why we did this, because mm. um, now, heat reflector, vehicle heat reflector. And windbreak and windbreak and then where we sit so the combination of those will give us a really really mm. good um a, you know, nice warm area that doesn't have wind in it and that'll help a lot yeah um, we can also put a sidewall on here mm. which and we might end up doing that we might end up doing it. it's just annoying because yeah. more stuff to set up that we're going to take down tomorrow, tomorrow morning yeah exactly i think yeah. tonight we'll be fine with this yeah um and the combination of inside the camper and under there. And the wind's already better than it was this morning. Yeah, and then yeah. when we get to Bremer, we'll definitely do that. Mm. Yeah. So we're going to catch up with our friends tomorrow in Bremer. Mm. They've just picked up their camper fire. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, I'll put, the, actually, we'll, we'll, I'll give you some details of, of who they got it off, just in case anyone does want to get it. Mm. They got through Camper Fire, and then I'll, I'll put the name of the um, actual camper company on Camplify because there are a lot of different people who hire out through Camplify, a lot mm. of different users. So, mm -hmm. just in case you're interested in getting one. Now, we looked at the weather forecast and it looks like from uh, basically for the next three days, Bremer is going to be really windy. Um, and it's already windy enough here and we're in a really sheltered position in Denmark. Uh, or the, specifically on the farm in this, in this spot, it's really, really nice and sheltered. So, we have decided to change our itinerary and we're going to have three days at the farm and then we're going to have a couple of days in Bremer afterwards. Um, so our friends are going to come down, there's probably like a 20% chance they'll be here tonight. Um, uh, otherwise we'll, we'll see them tomorrow morning, they'll be in like Williams tonight and then down with their new camper. For now we're going to hang out inside the camper, play some tunes and relax. And it's nice and warm and dry in there. We've we'll also put up this like side wall thing here, with that one, took about two minutes. And I've put the draft skirt on, just to stop wind getting from getting underneath. Which took about two minutes. Uh, never used either of them, so I can't really give you too much info. But um, yeah, cool bits of kit. So we're very, like, we're very set up for a few days anyway. Um, so genuinely, pretty happy to do it because. Um, like <laughs> means we don't have to pack up and repack and all that kind of stuff. Uh, not that it's that hard, but it's you know what it's like when you're just happy at camp and like why why pack all your stuff up. Anyway, let's head inside. Put this, uh, put this away as well. He's a bit happier in here. Good. Warmer, less windy. Sorry, my feet anyway. Nope. What are you doing? Tunes. Nice. Tunes. <laughs> Both pretty over it to be honest. It's like history repeating, isn't it? Like he's normally a very happy boy. We, we thought we were doing well. We we're like staying super positive, and he's just. Is he too warm? Is he too cold? Is he like? I put on all the layers that we have. We've, we've done this before, and, and it worked. Yeah. But he's just not a happy chappy today. Come on, mate. Come on. Mm. <laughs> this is the cursed trip. I'm exhausted. Me too. I'm absolutely shattered. And it's not that we did anything that hard. Or that we had that bad of a night's sleep. Mm. Just, just tired. Just cooked. Yeah. It's hard work today. Yes. Alright. <laughs> we'll, oh, we'll keep you updated. The deja vu. I know. It's heartbreaking. It's mental, isn't it's it? It's heartbreaking. Oh.
It hurts a bit. It hurts a lot. Ugh. Mm. If you saw our last episode, Bill actually was quite sick. He ended up in hospital for a few days and we had an awful camping trip. Um, yeah, we were doing this exact camping trip. <laughs> a few days in Denmark at the farm, then Bremer in the camper. Anyway, let's hope it's not that. Yes. <laughs> yes. You having fun? <laughs> you love the bath, don't you? <laughs> having fun? <laughs> oh, that's slippery. Is it slippery? <laughs> hey? So it looks like our friends Shane and Yana and their um, their little one are coming along, which is great. They're going to be here in probably ten minutes. Um, now, quick bit of backstory: uh, Shane and Yana are foster carers, and they have a fourteen-year-old girl who's coming with them. Um, and she's uh, going to be in care with them for a while, and uh, we're not sure if what we can talk about with her, as, as far as like identifying her with name or. Or images or whatever so we're going to keep that to a minimum just in case you're wondering who this faceless and tongueless person is um, in the video <laughs> she's really really lovely um, uh, and yeah we can't wait to have her along because she's great value um, it's annoying because she loves selfies and TikTok, so she'd probably love it love to be on YouTube videos but unfortunately that's the lull <laughs> so we'll see them soon thank you all so much for watching we'll be back next week with part two of this trip in the interim, here's a little sneak peek of what we get up to. Uh, we are heading to Bremer today. Lovely. It is 12 o'clock. Where? <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> We're here. Uh, the spot I wanted is actually free. Beautiful spot here. Um, check this out. Check this out. Isn't that awesome?